Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Carley, the Vice President of Global Market Development at the U.S. Green Building Council, and I am here to provide a brief demo of the HTML forms that are now available to all LEAD V4 projects that have registered after April 18th, 2022. HTML forms are available for group projects, campus projects, master sites, and volume projects in addition to individual buildings. As you may be aware, LEAD Online forms have historically been PDF forms that are no longer supported by Adobe. We developed an offline form solution that ensures that all projects are able to access forms regardless of their browser, but all LEAD V4 projects that register after April 18th, 2022 will now have access to the HTML forms, similar to those available in all, for all LEAD V4.1 projects, which can be used with any browser, so there aren't any browser compatibility issues. At the end of the year, we will be releasing HTML forms for all currently registered or existing LEAD V4 projects but in the meantime, those projects can continue to use the PDF forms or offline forms. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now so I can show you some of the functionality that's available using the HTML forms and some of the improvements that you will see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter this HTML forms demo project that I have on my, uh, in Lead Online. And I'm gonna go ahead to go and go to the credit section and then I'll scroll down to energy and atmosphere because that has some good example credits. And I think the first thing that I will, uh, I think you'll notice when I select this form is the speed and performance. Uh, there's no more long load times for downloading it or accessing any of the forms. It's really quite instantaneous. And then the second thing I hope you'll notice is the interactivity and functionality embedded within these forms. Um, there's a lot of reactive, um, inputs that are responding to the options selected. There are drop downs pre-populated with the information that is being requested in the form that we are hoping to have the information submitted. Um, and then one of the other things is the, um, the file feature. These files used to be have to be uploaded in a different section altogether. Now they are embedded right in the form. So you can go ahead and add a file. And again, it's pretty quick and easy. And you don't have to just upload one file at once. You can open multiple files and those will again add, um, be added pretty quickly and instantaneously. And similarly, you can get rid of those files as, as appropriate. Um, I'm gonna go back into the credit section for a second and choose another one, maybe this renewable energy production credit. And you'll also see that there's a lot of embedded calculations that have been built into the form. And so, I can go ahead and um, not only I have features that I can add and remove columns and tables pretty quickly, there's some of the built-in values that are referred to, uh, the information as we expect it to be received. And then I can go ahead and add inputs in here. You'll see in my table, I'm gonna add a few more value, values. And then that value is automatically calculated for me. So when uh, the functionality is available, we've had have calculations embedded into the forms, hopefully to make the user experience more streamlined and efficient for you. The other item that I would like to call out is if I go down here, um, this, as soon as I start entering data, it is saved as a draft and that is saved every 10 seconds. So you don't lose, um, you can see that actually listed here. <laughs> every 10 seconds it's updated. Um, so you don't lose any of the data that you've input. Um, what you can do if I are, if I leave this credit and then re-enter, re you can see that this, the information that I entered was not yet saved. But what I just input while we were on the call here is still available and accessible to me. If I want that information to be submitted and ultimately reviewed by our reviewer, I can save this form and then it is accessible in the version history on this form. And you can see that this is the version that I just saved right now. I can also refer to any of my prior versions and pull those up as I see fit and switch back to that version. Whatever one is currently chosen, is referenced would be what would be included when you ultimately submit your project for review. So that's some of the functionality that is now available for V4 projects 
that have registered after April 18th, 2022. We hope that this functionality provides an improved user experience, and we're really looking forward to the end of the year when we can make HTML forms available to all projects, including those currently registered in Lead V4. We're going to continue to make improvements over the course of the year, and we welcome your feedback. So please don't hesitate to reach out to the technology department at USGBC with any questions. And thank you for your time today.